Hello, my name is Harold, this is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine on Minecraft. All right, now, right off the top, I have Minecraft already installed, uh, no mods or anything like that, just a plain, ordinary install of Minecraft working and fully updated. We're going to go here and start out by going to the, going to java.com, in fact, I'm going to show you that here. And then we're going to go download just the regular 64-bit Java Update 8, 341. I'm going to go ahead and download Java. And what's more is I'm going to go ahead and install Java. But while that's going, while that's going on there, I'm going to go back over here to Optifine.net home. I'm going to go to Downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and download the latest, uh, the latest uh, copy of Optifine. Actually, you know what? Uh, this first download button is okay but you're going to want to skip that and go to this mirror button which will bring up this link here and then just click download i forget that first one is actually kind of a has a lot of adware and stuff like that on it so all right once we've got that done we can go ahead and well this is the uh, java installation so we're actually going to run that java installation and get that installed i'm going to click install let it do its thing, let it install Java. We're going to need that to install Optifine. I want to jump over here and make sure Optifine is done downloading. It is. So let's go ahead and open up a folder here. I need to get to that downloads folder. Excellent. All right, we're going to need that to finish installing before we can get in and install that. Give me a second, I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right, so Java's installed. What we're actually going to do is we're going to right click on your mouse and we're going to open with. Java Platform SE Binary. You want to open it with the Java that we just installed. So right click and then left click open with. All right. Once you get this window up right here, we're going to go ahead and click install. And what that's going to do is install it into the Minecraft folder, which is perfect. We're going to click OK. And then assuming you don't run into any problems, and there are some other videos about people who've had problems and stuff like that. Uh, if you've run into problems on that, I recommend you go and check on those. But assuming everything has gone smoothly so far, we're going to open up uh, Minecraft here. I'm already signed in. Uh, my username and password is already in. Just kind of ignore that. All right. Now, over here on the left-hand side, we can actually select which of the versions we're going to go ahead and run. Uh, Optifine is, of course, installed already. It shows up here on the list, so you can load it with Optifine, or you can just load regular Minecraft. Um, I was told there was a way to go in here and... Yeah, there, there is a way to go in here, and there was, there was a way to play it from here, but let's just do it here, and as it's already installed, we're going to play the Optifine version. Should already be updated, because I went over a little while ago and updated it, so... You know, if there's an update, install it, but we're loading Optifine. Uh, guys, I, I understand that uh, that shadows and stuff like that are actually not supported on this version of Optifine yet. So that's why I've been seeing a lot of like Minecraft videos and stuff like that where you just don't see shadows and other stuff and it looks kind of weird. Uh, if you want shadows and the shadow textures and stuff like that, you probably don't want to use Optifine. I kind of prefer it without, to tell you the truth. But for the rest of you who do, let me uh, let me show you exactly what it looks like. It's just it's just a little weird because it doesn't have shadowing and stuff like that. But uh, let me go ahead and play this selected world I created just for this, just for this, uh, just for this here. I still wish I could blow this up a little bit. But... Now, uh, real quick, an uh, easy way to tell that you've got the Optifine texture pack in. Um, actually, if you look around, you'll find there are no shadows. There's uh, no, no place more evident other than when i um, go in the caves and stuff like that. But here, let me go here and then video settings. And you'll see that a ton of new stuff was added. But if we go to shaders here, we can see that it's off because it's just not supported right now. So there, there is a bunch of new stuff that you can do. Uh, increased frame rates and stuff is regular. Like, like I've seen a lot of stuff you can do, including increasing frame rates and all kinds of cool stuff. But that is Optifine installed, HD textures and everything. It's, it's really, really easy to install. Uh, that's it. That's Optifine. That's installed. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, you know, just uh, leave it down in the uh, comment section and, uh, you know, have a good one.